Hey. Hey, Nate. Hi, honey. Oh, hi. I've been trying to get a hold of you. Are you okay? Yeah, of course. What do you mean? Well, you know, the news. There's been all that flooding. Maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, it, uh, it grounded us for sure. You know, had some equipment failure, but, you know, no one's hurt or anything. Well, as long as you guys are safe. So are you going to start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're going to need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh, 10 days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Uh, you know, you don't have to do that. That's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. So I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you, too. What are the satellites saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. All right. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Yeah, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Wait here, I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor, still do a lot of traveling these days. Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> Telling Nathan it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure. sure but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Hard to do that in a chat room, hmm. talking to some guy oh, named Antiquity Master 37. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest former. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. Woo! <laughs> Colder than I thought! Let's see here. Hey, Richard, look off. at that. It's a note.
Behind the waterfall. No shit. <clears throat> that bridge there is what you would call rickety. Ah, uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Hey, just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. Easy. All right, hang on, guys. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4 by 4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. Oh, but we oh, see? Shit. Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shark pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why, exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. <clears throat> Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So, maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to, what, be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree.
Hey, did you know our car came with a winch? No, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. <clears throat> there. That ought to do it. Deeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. I right, just gotta put the winch back and we'll be on our way. <laughs> Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taken forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with... I'll be right back. Uh, Nathan? Yeah, I excuse me. <laughs> Sam, you were saying? Oh, that's right, I was. Uh, anyway. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The, the point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, still taking a long time. Hey, Nathan. Check out that cave there. <clears throat> Stay put. You see something? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. Huh? 
What was it? Hey, you hear me? Waiting on approval from Nadine to blow it. Okay, I think that's it. God. Damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. They, they can just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Looks like that bridge leads back to the trail.
Look, another sigil. Huh. Adam Baldridge. He ran King's Bay for a while. He was a traitor, slaver, general scoundrel. Look at you. Yeah. Prison. A lot of books. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Well, <laughs> uh, we ain't got no auto club out here, Nathan. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than rate? Now, that's be right back, fellas. Hey, kid. <laughs> Hold that thought. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sully, what were you talking about? Uh, yeah. So, now, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money-up-front kind of mercenary. Rape's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. He's thinking the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah you're right. Hey, you think that old building's worth checking out?
Hey, Sam. You don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He'd uh, check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. Well, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking. Uh, hey, is that a well? Well, well, well. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? It might come in handy. What have we here? Hey, Sully, throw the car in reverse. Okay, give me a second. Damn, these pirates weren't messing around. Okay, what do we have here? So? Nothing major. I'll show you back at the hotel. Sam, you were saying? Oh, that's right, I was. Uh, anyway, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs. It's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. Yeah. Ah, no. See that smoke? Oh, shoreline, slow down. Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. Oh, I tried. I asked them to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad. Never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago. Even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like you could... Oh! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. I'll be right back. Bring me back something shiny. Sully, what were you talking about? Uh, yeah. So, soft-spoken but intense, like you could 
explode at the slightest provocation? <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. Whoa! Sorry, sorry. Good car. Don't die. Don't die on me. So, fire walks into him. Okay, here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. The bartender goes, hey, man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate says back, ah, he's driving me nuts. <laughs> ah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here. Check this out. What if that's man-made or natural? Looks to me to be half and half. We should just blow it up ourselves. If we happen to find the treasure, we just skim a little finder's fee off the top. Don't even think about it. I'm not about to have Nadine hang me because of you. No, there's definitely something down there. No one will know. She'll know, the rest of the crew will know, and we'll be dead. Yeah, but I... I'm tired, so please drop it. Fine. Saw something. Be careful, bro. Nothing over there, eh? We all clear. We're clear. Hey, look. Anything in that pit? Check it out. Hey, maybe there's something down there. Right <laughs> now. 
up, everybody! Get out of the way and let me take the goddamn picture. Clear. Let's see what's in there. Sorry, experiencing a little turbulence. You can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. Now that you look at this, quite the view. Keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. Oh, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. So, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. And especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too.
See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. What do you make of the drawbridge, Nathan? A little out of place. But you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to protect something. Such as pirate treasure? Another sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. Anne Bonnie. Mm -hmm. Operated out of the Caribbean. Thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. Nathan, check this out. Ah, hell, the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the crank. I'll see if I can find something to stand on. Must have been here before. Find his keepers. Guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam! Special Just relax. I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know. Keep up the good work, kid. Ah, ah, so 